In contemporary math, we discuss two types of consumer loans, installment loans and credit card problems. Installment loans are often referred to as closed-ended credit. You buy a big ticket item and agree to pay it off in a fixed number of payments. Credit cards are usually referred to as open-ended or revolving credit. You make monthly payments, but you could be making additional purchases throughout the month. In this presentation, we will limit our discussion to installment loans. If you buy a big ticket item and agree to pay it off in a fixed number of payments, you have an installment loan. The store will charge you interest. If the store uses the add-on interest method to determine your monthly payments for your installment loan, the store uses the formula, your monthly payment, is equal to P plus I over N, where N is the total number of monthly payments, but if you look at this formula, I should look familiar. This is your simple interest formula, you know, I is equal to PRT, so we can replace I in this formula with PRT, so we'll have P plus PRT all over the number of monthly payments. Well, P is common to both these terms, so we can factor it out, so we factor P out, if you factor P out of P, it leaves 1, if you factor P out of PRT, it leaves RT, so we have P times 1 plus RT over N. So for installment loan, your monthly payment is P times parentheses 1 plus RT over N, where N is the total number of monthly payments. Now, P is the amount you are financing, R is the annual rate, and T is the time in years. Let's look at an example. You have decided to buy a 46-inch LCD high-def television with a list price of $2,400. You intend to take out an installment loan for three years with an annual rate of 18%. The story is using the add-on interest method to calculate monthly payments. Question A is, Find your monthly payment if you make a down payment of $400. Then question B is, suppose you went in the stores thinking, I can get this TV set if I can get the monthly payments down to $75 a month. So the question in that situation would be, how much do I need to pay down today? What's my down payment need to be today in order to get my payments down to $75 a month? Well, let's do question A first. We're going to buy a 46-inch high-def television with a list price of $2,400. We intend to take out an installment loan for three years, so T is three, with an annual interest rate of 18%. So R is 0.18. The store is using the add-on interest method to calculate the monthly payments for this installment loan. Question A is, what's the monthly payment if you make a down payment of $400? Well, the formula for monthly payment for an installment loan is it's P, what you're financing, times 1 plus RT over N. Well, let's find out what P is. P is what we are financing. P is the list price of a television set, $2,400 minus the $400 down payment we are making, so P, what we are financing, is $2,000. So our monthly payment will be 2000 times 1 plus 0.18 times 3 over, now N is the total number of monthly payments. If we are taking out a three-year loan and we're making a payment every month for the next three years, three years 
12 times a year, we're going to have 36 monthly payments. So n is 36. Now the good news is we can type this directly into our calculator and get our answer. So we'll do 2,000, open parentheses, 1 plus 0.18 times 3, close parentheses, divided by the 36 monthly payments. And so our monthly payment will be $85.56. Now question B is, we still want to buy this $2,400 TV set. We're still going to take out an installment loan for three years at an annual rate of 18%. The store is still using the add on interest method to calculate the payment. And this question says, find the down payment, which will allow monthly payments of $75. So we, we know what we want our monthly payments to be. We want our monthly payments to be $75. Um, R is still 0.18. T is still three years, which means N is three years, 12 times a year, so N is 36 payments. So our formula, monthly payment, equals P times parentheses 1 plus RT over N. We know our monthly payment, so 75 goes in for our payment. Now, we do not know what P is. P is what we can afford to finance. That's what we're trying to solve for in this equation, and then we'll use that to find our down payment. This is a two-step problem. So we'll have P times 1 plus R is 0.18 times 3 years divided by 36. Well, I would like to know what this number is in the parentheses, so I'm going to go to my calculator. And take 1 plus 0.18 times 3, which is 1.54. So we have 75 equals P times 1.54 is the same thing as 1.54 times P over 36. Now I want to solve this equation for P. One way to do that is I can think of 75 as 75 over 1, and now I can uh, solve this proportion by cross multiplying. 1 times 1.54P is 1.54P, and that's equal to 36 times 75. So 36 times 75 is 2,700. So we have 1.54p equals 2,700. I'm going to go to the next screen. We have 1.54p equals 2,700 to solve for p divided by 1.54. And 2,700 divided by 1.54 is 1,753 dollars and 25 cents. Now P is not the down payment. P is what we can afford to finance. Now the question that we're trying to answer is what's the down payment? The down payment will be the list price or the sticker price minus what we can afford to finance. So the down payment that we need to make is the sticker price, which was $2,400, plus 
minus what we can afford to finance, $1,753.25. So our down payment needs to be $646.75. If we make a down payment of $646.75, our monthly payments will be $75. Now the big deal here is we knew our monthly payment and we used that to solve for P. Once you found P, once you found P, what you've got to remember to do is you've got to go subtract that from your list price to find your down payment. The big deal is when you think you're done, when you find P, remember that's what you can afford to finance. You've got to subtract that from the list or sticker price and you'll finally have the down payment.